In Start Me Up today, tips on getting that financing for your company. Joining me now is a startup therapist, Jeff Hyman. Always a pleasure to have you on the show. Good to be back. So your first tip is to start to look for that money before you really need it. Presuming you need to raise money, if you're just starting when you actually need the money, you're in trouble. You gotta dig your well before you're thirsty, which means building relationships with a, a good targeted group of prospective investors and show them momentum, show them progress. Say this quarter, I'm gonna do this. Whatever it is, launch a new product, hit a certain revenue goal, and then do it, circle back with them. When you start to build that track record of saying what you're gonna do and doing it, investors will give you the money. How much did you ask for? And Do most people ask for too much or too little? Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> the right answer is probably double what you think you need. Usually, it takes twice as much time and twice as much capital as you assume. What's one of the biggest mistakes that you made that you would like to rectify or warn people about? When you have a bad quarter, when you miss the number, when you lose a key customer, when you lose a key employee, you tend not to want to communicate that to your investors. I've made those mistakes. And that's how you want to stay on friendly terms with people who are investing in your company. It's vital. It's vital. You can't afford for it to get ugly. Now there will be tense times. There will be a vote or there will be a board decision, but that's business. What you don't want is just a bad relationship, a bad blood. And I think the biggest issue is not over communicating. This is what always worries me that when you have people investing in your company, they have a lot of control and they want their money back. They want to see those returns right away. That's why I tell people raise money only as a last resort because with that capital usually, usually come terms and provisions like you're suggesting change of control provisions, the right to block a sale of the company, the right to force a sale of the company, the right to fire you from your own company. These terms usually come with outside capital and a lot of entrepreneurs don't think about that until it's too late. And keeping these folks on your good side is really important for that reason. Always a wealth of information. Thanks for coming on the show. My pleasure, thank you. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.